What's up, Doombots? Uh, Tony Scangilli here with a quick take video on the sale of Fox Next. It has uh, been approved by the FCC. Uh, Fox Next is being sold to a company called Scopely. A uh, little information on Scopely right here. Scopely uh, makes a bunch of games you play or have played for about six minutes and then stopped. Uh, and you'll notice something very important. They do not have any rhyme or reason. They have a WWE, I believe it's like a Bejeweled style game. They have a Star Trek Fleet Commander, uh, Clash of Clans style game, Walking Dead Road to Survival, uh, Wheel of Fortune apparently, uh, Looney Tunes Mayhem, which is uh, World of Mayhem, which is pretty similar in structure to Marvel Strike Force and Galaxy of Heroes. And then X with Buddies games, Words with Friends, that you, have to with, like, you know, those kind of clones where you get to play them on Facebook. So what you'll notice is Scopely is uh, kind of a jack of all trades. We don't care. Just give us an IP and we'll market it, right? What does this mean for Fox Next? Now, there's a couple articles, and I'll put the links of the articles in the description. Um, a lot of people are gonna have been asking, uh, is Fox Next going to close? LOL. No. No, nothing, not, literally nothing is going to change. So the fear, fear comes from two places, actual knowledge or ignorance. You're afraid of a bear because you understand that a bear can kill you. You're also afraid of the dark because you don't know what's happening in the dark because you can't see. A lot of people are in the dark about what it means to sell a company, what it means to sell a games company, what games company umbrellas are, are, are about to do. Uh, so let me try to explain. Uh, scope Disney does not want to be in games development. That's their corporate manifest from Bob Iger himself. So Disney decided they have no interest in running this company they got for free with the purchase of the Happy Meal that is uh, Fox. They've been trying to sell it. Uh, Fox was trying to sell this company before the sale so they can generate a little bit more income and move it around. Didn't happen. It took so long to sell, and the last couple of months of the game have been pushes for high-impact sales, which is why we've seen a lot of characters released, because they wanted their numbers to look very good. They finally got approval for the sale, and as you read some of these articles, you'll see information about how much money uh, Scopely announced it had raised $200 million in strategic financing to accelerate companies' M&A and investment strategy. Uh, a portion of that $200 million is going to Fox Next. Now, my assumption, this is just an assumption based on my knowledge of the industry, is that they did not pay $200 million for Fox Next. They did not pay half of that for Fox Next. I'm probably going to put what they bought Fox Next Studios from Disney for at roughly 60 to $70 million, and that's a gross uh, overstatement, too, because the company isn't necessarily worth what its sales are. The company's sales minus their profit is what they're worth. So whatever amount of money that company generated internally, that's what's gonna take. So Fox Next made 150 million, 125, 170 million dollars over the last, you know, uh, the last two years, then subtract their operating cost, and that's roughly how much they're worth. Uh, I don't think they're particularly worried about that. I think Scopely raised enough money to start investing, and I think we're going to see a couple more games uh, added to their lineup. But Scopely's not amazing or terrible. It's just a company that generates games. Fox Next is still going to be more or less in charge of what they're doing. So there will be very few, if any, changes that we see in our day to day gameplay. And there's another article from. I TechCrunch, which I guess is a real website, that discusses something incredibly important. Uh, last paragraph. Uh, when the transaction completes, the Fox Next president, Aaron Loeb, will uh, become a executive in Scopely under, I assume, the Fox Next title, and the Fox Next Games a senior vice president and general manager, Amir Rahimi, will lead the Fox Next Games Los Angeles studio as a Scopely uh, employee. So more or less what the sale has done is it's taken people's job titles 
and added asterisks and commas at the end of them to embrace them inside scope. What this means for the employees of Fox Next, well, no one can speculate. You know, like they might be downsizing a little to uh, accommodate for um, a new uh, leadership. They might be doubling. They might be having people from uh, Scopely other games implanted to kind of get a feel and understanding. But you're not going to see any changes almost at all for many months. It takes more than six or seven minutes for a huge change. The only change you might see is upon the completion of the sale, you may see a Scopely Games logo at the beginning to add to the other 15. Um, so I just wanted to help quell a little bit of, of fear. Uh, or give you the unfortunate news that nothing is going to change. The game is not going anywhere. No one buys a, a company to... No one spends money on a company to shut them down. That's a stupid thing. It's foolish to think that. People buy companies because they expect them to generate money. Facebook bought Instagram because they knew it would generate them money. Scopely bought Fox Next Games because they found that for whatever their metric is, Fox Next Games will generate them money. How they plan on using that, we don't know. We'll find out in six months. But the game is not going to close. And on the other side, nothing is going to change. Offers are not going to be better. Anything that's going to change is stuff that was going to change no matter what. Red Star Orbs being reworked, if that happens in the next two months, that's going to happen. That's, that's done. That's already what's going to happen. They've already decided that. That's not something that's going to happen in a conversation because scope we took over. They're not coming in with a hatchet and saying, make these changes now. That's not how anything works in game development. So anything you see happening in the next, I'd say, entire quarter, like until maybe May, that's all things that have already been planned. Once you get past May into some, some weird and unique changes, that might be a, a rescan of monetization, or maybe they figure there's a better uh, cycle, or maybe Scopely has a predefined um, price point system that they want to apply to Fox Next, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, I wouldn't expect the game to become better if that's something you're looking forward to, but I wouldn't necessarily expect the game to become worse, and it's incredibly hard to imagine it becomes worse right now anyway. So don't worry. Your investment, if you're foolish enough to believe you have one in this game, uh, is safe as far as that's you know, the game going away is concerned. But on the other side, don't expect good and positive things to happen upon the sale of this company. It doesn't mean anything. Anyway, that's my hot take on this. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.